name is Scott Phillips. I'm the president and founder of Starfish Medical. Project management has been a really growing and developing role at Starfish over the years. We started by believing that project management was a lot like how people teach it. It's tasks and accountabilities and timelines, but we've come to understand really it embodies aspects of program management, aspects of product management. So it's really a very broad role. In this video, you'll have a chance to meet some of the people you'll be working with on your project and to understand some of the philosophies and approaches that we use to make the project work so well. As a project manager, I act as the voice of the client and facilitate the engineering teams here. I strive to uh, empower our, our engineering team and uh, hold them accountable for all the work that they do. And really, I try to remove the roadblocks that are in their way and ensure that the resources are available so that our teams can succeed and really follow through on what the, the visions are for our, our clients and their, and their goals. So one thing I like to do is to uh, provide the work to people that will engage the most. So um, when I engage with team members during project kickoffs, I'm looking for what, uh, what team members do I have because I don't always get to choose them. but. I look at uh, the core competencies of the team members, and then I try to maximize, based on my experience, how those team members like to interact uh, on a project team. Some people like to have lots of involvement. They like to have lots of brainstorming discussions and one-on-ones. Other, other people like to, be, uh, to, to work a little bit more in isolation, and so maximizing the skill set of each individual on the team so one of the differences um, when it comes to manufacturing versus product development is manufacturing, it's about repeatability, be able to produce the same product to the same standard over and over again. Uh, when it comes to research and development, it's basically you're, you're walking a new path. So there, there are risks that you need to manage. It's about new findings. When it comes to manufacturing, it's about minimizing the risks or variances. You want to be able to have a repeatable process and produce the same quality product over and over again. We find when people come in with project management training, it doesn't have enough breadth to cover everything that we need to do. So we really had to commit to spend money on training, to uh, develop our own internal systems, and in fact to, to have a whole team of dedicated project managers. We used to have people who were a mix of technical uh, contributors and project managers, and we really had to recognize that project management in this way that we do it is a dedicated profession and it needs to have its own leadership and its own team. There's a very high bar for meeting specifications and also meeting usability. And uh, it's, it's the type of challenges that makes us really excited to come to work every day. A large part of my job is fulfilling the project management role internally here at Starfish. So working with our senior project managers and our teams in order to plan new projects and monitor our schedule and monitor our budget and the targets we work to meet for our clients um, in order to both predict changes and predict problems and give our team the data that they need to mitigate them. And as the project management office or PMO, I am helping them with this, uh, this function of looking at both sides of the equation, uh, serving for them as a foil or a sounding board uh, or devil's advocate for, for whatever is needed at that particular time. It might be uh, that as I've taken in all the information, I'm, I'm challenging them to think about a different technical solution. It could be that I am uh, reminding them of what really matters at the end of the day for the client and making sure that what we're doing is consistent with that approach. Uh, or it could be to focus less on the big picture and more on what's needed on a day-to-day -day basis. There are a lot of risks and it's um you'll constantly be coming up against challenges week by week, day by day. Um, and over the last year, I've grown as a project manager by getting better at responding to those challenges quickly and, and uh, aligning the team towards what's really important. They're very quick to adapt to change, so project requirements change very quickly and it requires setting in motion a lot of different changes with the team and changing the plan and so people here do that really comfortably. I do definitely enjoy working with a good team and uh, when we uh, are developing new, basically new ideas, solving problems, that I would say is the most, uh, uh, when I have the most fun. The kind of person you need to handle this 
is technical. They can understand the technical aspects of the project, but they also have to be able to think very broadly about what, how that product is going to enter its market and be a success. Because at the bottom of it all, what we're dedicated to is a successful outcome for a client.